lives that survives only IP music here and now. <laughs> Ian, why did you and Bungie Garland and Faye Ann separate it now? Oh. Yeah. You are so wicked. No, I had to ask. Um, you know, in life, some of the best things that happened in, in life, in my life actually, mm -hmm. happened during my tenure with Bungie Garden. Um, there was like 15 years of relationship in terms of management, from when we met mm -hmm. to when we ended. And I can't say I regretted anything that happened during that time. It was all one high, then another high, and then another high. We became good friends. Mm -hmm. We became almost like family, his mom, his, his family, etc. But there comes a time when people need to part, and um, he wanted to take a different direction at the time, and I think it was also an opportunity for me to also take another direction. Mm -hmm. And the relationship ended suddenly, with public, mm -hmm. ended suddenly. And uh, if it wasn't for that end, I wouldn't be here today talking about my music. So I am, I must say that I enjoyed every moment that I had with Bungie Garden. We never had an argument of any, any sort whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We never had any major disagreement until actually the end. Okay. But um, for personal reasons, I, I would prefer not to disclose mm -hmm. it. But um, I'm at, at a happy place now where my career is about to take off. And some of the things I'm doing now, I'm modeling from the fact that I've learned what he did on stage. And, I'm, I'm, and I, I, I can now execute some of the things because I've been present there for event after event after event. We taught Europe, we taught America, we taught all over the world. Mm -hmm. And that's. If you had to do it all again with Bungie and Day, what would you, what would be different? I don't think there's anything major to change, mm -hmm. whether it's because as I said, I love every moment of it. Maybe one thing, one thing I want to add, not change. Um, because when the relationship was being terminated, and as I say, it was public, it was all over the news, around the world. Yes. Uh, we had just signed up with VP Records for a song called Differentology. I don't know if you know that mm -hmm. song. Yeah. Um, VP Records was doing the distribution for the song for the United States. And then we also signed, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong about the name, I believe it was Sony Records for Europe through a gentleman called Jean-Michel Jaber, mm -hmm. who is um, our French connection here in Trinidad. He operates everything that happens in Europe, especially out of France. And that song took off, and we had that song signed. It was played internationally. The thing about it is that I miss the fact that I didn't get an opportunity from there to take it to the next level, mm -hmm. because I saw myself um, being with, with signing him, having him sign with a major recording label for like a five-year deal. Mm -hmm. And I think that would have been the pinnacle on my, on my career in seeing him go internationally. So that is the only thing that I think I'd want to change. Well said. Cause in the end, it's you, you're the pinpoint.